Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's take a look, see, and see what's in our new GR3 punish deck. <laughs> Fire and water of the energy variety here, primarily water. Uh, let's see here, we got here. Oh, that's interesting. I'll be able to. Oh, I might have a. Different. Oh yeah, I could use a whole couple different fires now. Potentially, maybe. Oh yeah, did I show the Squirtle? I think. Oh yeah, I think I did before. Uh, bubble paralyze and surface. Yeah, I think I showed that too. Da, 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 da. So it's kind of a bunch of repeats. Hello. <laughs> um, but you know, it's probably better, better structured for his deck. Then the deck that I used, and I'm gonna save this deck to the record machine because I did not do so. And head on. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, Mint! Say, that's a big smile! That GR number three was rushing out of here so fast he dropped some cards! I'll take the list Lost Style booster pack. Here, you can have the other. A Legends booster pack! Oh, thank you! You're much friendlier as a rival than you were in the other game. <laughs> oh, the beautiful Dragonair! Yes! Two hit 30 times number of heads, but the Hyper Beam. Hello, energy removal. <laughs> Plus power, very nice. You know, Pokemon Center. Here's the big explosion of doom that I was describing before. Not that. This equal to the number of energy cards. Attach Exeggutor, so if you have a bunch of them, you're probably gonna do a lot of damage with it. Uh, da, da, da. Remember, combine Exeggutor with the uh, Venusaur if you can. You know, Energy Transfer Venusaur, I should say. And pretty basic Geodude, but it is Extended Series Geodude, so it's different to show. Uh, ooh, oh ho! Pokemon Trader. Wait, I just noticed something. Pokemon Trader is a common? That's that's usually a rare. See that symbol there, that at the right side, that indicates it's a common card. Uh, diamonds indicate uncommon cards, and stars indicate rares. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> keep up your rhythm of defeating the Team GR members. I'll help out by sharing any booster packs I find. Litament. Okay, he's not dueling us. Good, good. We, we were not prepared for this. But what we are prepared for is heading over to the Fire Club. <laughs> I should actually save now that I got the Dragonair and extra Pokemon Trader. Uh, just for the sake of sakes. Hmm? Hmm? He's here now. If you can win, maybe we'll get our cards back. Please bear it higher than we did in Rose GR number three! And the fire club area, da, ba, ba. please burn the hottest of us all and take down GR number three. I've heard that you defeated GR number three at the water club. He has since returned here and is waiting for you. You can win again. I know it. Good luck, Mint. Yeah, I, I just kind of skipped this guy's dialogue first because it was it was a repeat of the other one. He always likes to repeat that when he does his his chats. So I just like to skip, skip, skip. And then I went to the regular stuff. Fire! You beat up GR number three at the water club. Please, for our sakes, do it one more time! Fire! <laughs> um, just out of curiosity, too. Should I see if anyone has any more dialogue over here now that GR... Uh, while well, Team GR is still around, it's impossible to play cards. Uh, I think that GR... Uh, okay. So, nothing new there. Alright! Are you ready? For the rematch of the century! And I was wrong that he has a different deck here. He does not. So we're gonna be using the new deck that we got just because... Where's your spirit, Mint? I got tired of waiting here for you! Here's my own foolishness that cost me ownership of the Water Club. Cost me a lot of mental trauma losing to a twerp like you. However, I've gotten stronger. You'll never free the Fire Club even though I'm using the same deck. No. Oh, so you're happy with the Fire Club staying as it is then. Oh, you can't run away and hide from me. I prepare the fight at any time. So I guess there was a different dialogue there too. All right. Of a faithful duel with six prize cards. I bet you I'm missing a lot of dialogue in general because I'm, I'm not saying no and then 
yeah at like sometimes and hitting yes. And also, there's losing dialogue for each of the characters as well. Like all the characters have, like I guess you could say, bragging dialogue, so to speak. From yeah. Anyway, if you somehow manage the best that you get, I'll free the fire club. All right. So maybe he means he's stronger because he's gonna play smarter. I wouldn't count on it. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I got my GR punish deck, and I am ready to punish him like no other. Um, what should I start out with, though? I don't really have. Hmm. I mean, like, like Vulpix is two energy, Ponyta is two energy, Magikarp is low HP, Farfetch has got the one super risky attack. Although Farfetch has the. Uh, quick retreating option, so I think maybe I'll go with that anyway. And just flop everyone on the bench, and we'll- what, what? Misclick! Ponyta, please! <laughs> and six prize cards are a go! Not going first though, well, Magikarp will be handy for the future- oh, really? Really? Does that mean you don't have fire? That could work in my favor. Potentially. Hmm. Anyway, I'm probably gonna focus on Nine Tails here, but for now, I'm gonna try and Leak Slap just because I can. Uh, ah, man! Now I can't use the attack ever. <laughs> Unless I scoop it up to my hand, and I didn't see any things like that in my Decker. So boopers. <laughs> I could always free switch um, from Farfetch, as I said. You know, zero retreat cost are of Farfetch. Oh, oh, it has one retreat! Oh, I thought... Oh, ooh, ooh, that actually... Well... Well... <laughs> anyway, I should probably focus on that. <laughs> um... Like, see, if I try using Leak Slap again, that attack is already be used, it cannot be used again. Ever! For the game. So... <laughs> I guess I'll plop that in case I get Arcanine. And yeah, this is kind of, uh... Yeah... I, 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 maybe I should have powered up the Punish deck! Because this is still clearly starter deck material. Hello. Um, okay, I'll do a double focus here. Whichever comes first. Gyarados or the uh, Ninetales. <laughs> Couldn't think of the name somehow. Alright, Fire Punch, you can do that. We're, this is six prize card game two, by the way, so I can, in theory, just kind of set something out in the meantime to stall if I wanted to, so... And just kind of like wait until I get something. Okay, so it's leaning towards the nine tail side of things, and we'll call that a turn. <laughs> and when I get oh, dark gloom, something new to show off here. Pollen stench. Maybe fill up a coin of it. If any Pokemon is not confused, but tails may confuse his active Pokemon. Uh if he uses that, he could mess his own critters up. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Maybe he recognizes I'm not going to be able to attack with Ponyta anyway, so... He's like, okay, let's just call it a turn. Okay, yeah, it is definitely leaning towards the Ninetales. But Ninetales still requires quite a few energy there. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm done. Yeah, that Flyer Blast also has a discard effect, so that's kind of a detriment as well. Yeah, just go ahead and knock out Ponyta. You can do that if you want to. And using a beginner deck, so I gotta use the stall methods. Okay, I'll, just, just a little more stall. Just Growlithe. Okay, see? Because I didn't know if any, if any of them would have been okay to just plop off, because I didn't have any more energy cards, so. Alright, Fire Punch. You do that. And probably knock out Growlithe next turn. Please give me another energy, please. Um, actually, should I... Force him to swap into something else that's not as threatening as Magmar? Because I, I can force him to swap using Lure of uh, Ninetales here. See that Lure? If I need to choose one, then I'm going to switch to active. But you can always switch back. I'll just wait for it. I, just <laughs> I was thinking, like, maybe... Maybe if I, ha if I have to... Um, I mean, when I eventually have to put a Pokemon out there, and it ends up being Ninetales or something like that, I'll, yeah. I'll just put on a Vulpix and see. Of course, I get the water instead. Uh, 
<laughs> so, let's do Gyarados, and since Vulpix has a 1 retreat cost, but Ninetales... Oh, okay, I thought it has a 2 retreat cost for some reason. Anyway, <laughs> let's Gyarados it up. And Dragon Rage. Now we can finally destroy the world <laughs> on his side of the field. Yeah, that, that's what you gotta do with the starter decks, because you don't really have much to do other than the stall, I swear, so I just gotta power up something on the bench, and then just begin the sweeping, and as you see with the poison, Gyarados is weak against it, and it's guaranteed poison, so yeah, I didn't really show that about the, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, well anyway, um... I could the Bubble Beam energy cards away if I wanted to, too, but... Um, I think I'm gonna save that, because I'm... Kinda, kinda... Weak on the energy, so I'm just gonna Dragon Rage and finish off the Dark Gloom. I can do a lot of sweeping anyway. Gyarados is gonna take a little bit more from the poison between the turns. It's gonna be 20 more in total, but... He doesn't have anything that can really knock me out. Boss's Way comes into play. You can use this to grab any dark Pokemon that you like. Well, Evolution with a dark as you like. And you got another Dark Gloom just to try and bolster his Oddish army here. That's, uh, well, oh, you didn't play it. Interesting. I, I would have swore you would have played that. Now, if you would have paralyzed it, that would have been more of a problem too, but... Yeah, we're okay. We are still- Hello, Professor Oak! <laughs> we're still okay. Um, Alright, so now I know what I want to do, since I got Professor Oak. Well, first, Dragon Rage that Oddish ought to play. And we're going to set up the War Turtle for the future. Oh, our K9 too, maybe! <laughs> Alright, so Gyarados is good. Too bad, it's not Rain Dance Gyarados plus Professor Oak, isn't it? <laughs> Rain Dance. So powerful! So, so powerful! Okay, so KO'd, and Squirtle's coming out, and War Turtle is coming out, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get another Water Energy when I use Professor Oak. I just want to dump all the stuff in my hand before I kind of <laughs> kind of Professor Oak here, so yeah, just, just to make sure I got everything ready to go. Uh, especially since now that I know that I, uh, that Ninetales can retreat with one energy if need be. And there's the other water. I'm surprised I didn't get more water out of that. That's okay. Um, let's see what else I want to play here. Probably just one star you. And leave it at that. Because I don't know if I'm going to... Want to fill up the bench with other stuff, you know? Anyway, let's surf. Double damage of Dark Charmeleon, so that is a KO! Woo! Energy Surge, that will be a little bit helpful for choosing what I need. And Magmar is getting some energy. Growl is gonna reduce my attack power a smidge, but it's still gonna be doing some damage here, so I'm gonna go now focus on our canine, I guess. And surf. Woo! Take that. 50 damage. <laughs> yeah, that growl didn't do very much, did it? <laughs> and fire punch. It's uh it's over. <laughs> Magmar is weak against fire. I mean Magmar is fire, so it's weak against water too. Uh so if I wanted to as well, I could also search for a fire. And played that fire on our canine. And eventually just like waited for another turn to power up its flamethrower. If I wanted to, and that would also knock out Magmar. But there's also takedown, which would also knock out Magmar. Um Staryu would also make short work of Magmar because of the water, yeah, two twenty damage, one energy slap, nine tails could also power that up as well. There's there's many options at this point, so <laughs> let's surf and win. Woohoo! Victory! Woohoo! Well, even though I had like a starter deck, that was still relatively easy. I mean, I did have to wait for some stuff to come, but that's 
like if you wait long enough, something will always come. And rocket booster pack. How could he think that I wasn't gonna win again anyway? Uh, <laughs> Dark Machamp, that's what I was saying, evolves from Dark Machoke. Mega Punch, 2 for 30, eh, eh not bad. And the, but the Fling here, that's that's kind of an interesting one. <laughs> um, at the same time, you're not going to be knocking out Pokemon with this, but you can really wreck some strategies using that, like combine that with Gust of Wind. But it's also got low HP, so it's more like a utility Machamp more than anything. Uh, showed that... that no, you just seen bosses way. That punch kick. <laughs> okay, we're done. And last aisle. Let's uh, go. Gold Duck of Extended Series. Of course, it uses psychic energy like the Psyduck. 10 damage was 10 more damage for each energy card attached to defending. There's also other psychic attacks like that in the game. So it, it kind of takes advantage of Pokemon that use or use more energy cards. So basically, the more evolved they are, ch chances are the more energy cards they have. So it, it kind of balances things out in that way. Um, new version of Porygon here in the extended series. 3D attack, three coins for three dimensions and conversion too. So it's s similar to the other Porygon in that regard. So it's a, it's a little bit better than the original Porygon, I'd have to say. <laughs> uh, I clicked through that too quick. Oh, I think I don't think I showed regular Persian. Uh, pounce, you can reduce the attack damage by 10, but Persian's only got 70 HP, so it's not going to last that long in general. Uh, oh, peak. You can look at the top card of either player's deck. That can be interesting for predicting... Well, either what's coming on your side, but also what's on the opponent's side. So you could use that as like a splasher if you want to, if you don't plan on playing Primeape or anything like that, just as like a little utility if you want to. And then, you know, if you don't like what's coming, you could shuffle your deck with something on your side, or maybe shuffle the opponent's deck on their side. Or, or, you know, just plan ahead for whatever they have. Spacing out, move a damage counter, and scat. Oh, I think I showed this, actually, yeah. Because it's a trainer card dealio. Uh, water gun, 10 damage. You know the water guns in the game. It's always 10 plus 10 more, up to a limit of 20, it seems like. Uh, no, the Oddish and Grass Energy finishes off the pack. You've also earned this for defeating me twice. Woo! How are these coin pieces holding on to each other anyway? Like, are they, they're... Are they magnetic? Do they snap together, or...? I don't know. There are four total pieces of that coin to collect. If you own all four, you can use our airship at the airport. It only flies to GR Island, where I happen to be headed myself. Since you defeated me, I'll feed the Fire Club right away. Do 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 Remember, I'll be on GR Island, waiting for you, kid! Team GR is blasting off again? Hey, man, do you have my gratitude? Please come over here. <laughs> we, the Fire Club, thank you for your help. I know it's not much, but take this fire coin. Woo! I got the coin that matches my deck! Actually, technically, that Starmie coin also matches the Punish deck. Hmm. Maybe I jumped the gun there. <laughs> anyway, use the fire coin to duel a singer competition. Thanks, Mint. You pulled through. Fire! Like sometimes we could have a duel. Fire! He doesn't want to duel now, though. Please hurry and de defeat any G Team GR thugs still hanging around. We saw you battle and want. <laughs> We saw your battle and wow, you burned so hot. Why did I say and won? I don't know. I love to have a bat duel with you. Then why don't we duel? You burned, you sizzled, you spread like wildfire. I can't help but feel the urge to have a duel with you, but yet none of you are having a duel with me. So maybe I'll have to come back later. <laughs> I presume their cards are still stolen, actually. I'm just joking around. Um, oh, really? Mm hmm, okay. How about you? <laughs> eh, okay, well. Well, so. 
what do we have left? We have the Psychic Club, and we have the Lightning Club. I'm thinking because I use a Fire and Fighting deck, I should flop on over to the Lightning Club. Oh no. Oh no. Suck deck. <laughs> and we're exploring. I'm Jennifer, a member of the Lightning Club. I tried to protect my dear Pikachu deck, but now it's gone! Even though I can have a deck without a Pikachu card, it would be happy. I mean, remember me? I'm Brandon, a Lightning Club member. My club's been taken over by a girl calling herself GR number four. If it wasn't bad enough, Isaac, our club master, is working for her. What? How is he so easily swayed? Is it possible you defeat GR number four, Mint? After all, you were strong enough to defeat the Grand Masters. And yet, I was given tutorials at the end, beginning of the game. Your rival is Ronald, right? Isn't he great? Uh, yeah, I uh, guess. Even though he has no cards, uh, he has cards, he's spying on Team GR all by himself. Of course, you're also great for fighting Team GR, too. The only people you can defeat Team GR, who can defeat Team GR, are the Grandmasters. Uh, wouldn't they have done so by now? With their legendary cards in tow, Team GR wouldn't stand the chance. But all the Grandmasters are currently missing. Oh, we're done for. It's useless! I love electric Pokemon cards, but well, I love Voltor ten, level 10 most of all. How if I don't even have one? If only I had four Voltor of level 10 cards. Oh man, please trade with me. You know, I'll give me my precious Pikachu level 16 card. I don't have that many of those, so come back at any time. I'll keep my trade offer open, and I will remember your trade offer. I can't remember his number, but one of the GR members is so handsome. I wonder if I'll be able to meet him if I don't... Are you being swayed by gangs? Come on, you, you know better than that. And spotlights. They did not shine on the sprites, they just overlap the shininess. Anyway, let's move, <laughs> let's move on with the goof on. Oh. oh, if it isn't mint, I knew you'd come. I would want the cards we stole from you back. Well, I mean, you want the cards we stole from you back, I'll bet. I'm just misreading things left and right now. Well, too bad. Prepare to be defeated for defying Team GR. But I'm too lazy to- Wait, I didn't defy- You just kinda sucked them up with a blimp. I'm too lazy to do it myself. Nicholas? Yes, Miss GR number four? Isaac? <laughs> Go ahead, take care of this chump. Show him the power of our new club. <laughs> If you manage to defeat these two, I'll take you on myself. I don't like to waste my time with weaklings, you see. So, the lights have been replaced with hearts for the new member, or I should say the new leader, and I, I think I get the idea of uh, why Isaac was uh, a little swayed as well as him. I think they've got the hots for our cloaked adversary here. <laughs> Defeat Necklace and Isaac before you even think about dueling me. If you somehow manage to pull it off, I'll take you on. Alright. Name's Nicholas. I'm a Lightning Club member. As per GR number 4's conditions, you must duel me. Are you ready? No. If you don't fight me, you won't be able to advance. You won't be able to fight Team uh, GR number 4 unless you fulfill your her condition. You don't really, 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 really have to defeat me. So there's definitely new dialogue if I do that. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, I will duel. I got my main deck selected. A much more powerful deck with energy removal! <laughs> Wonder Order is to fight tooth and nail. Best of luck with your overflow deck. So, lightning Pokemon are a coming, but I have my fighting Pokemon. Oh, come on! <laughs> I don't have anything! <laughs> I'll just reshuffle until I get them. Come on, I know my balance is fine! Why do I keep getting <laughs> Okay, so I should probably lead with the Machop. One of the Machop. I'll uh, put another one in tow there. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I kind of would only want one Professor Oak, because the other one's inevitably going to be discarded, but... At least I have one, you know? Alright, fighting energy on Machop. <laughs> oh, look at that. Magnemite. 40 HP. Weak to fighting. No levitate. <laughs> Guess what's gonna happen in one turn? 
<laughs> oh, jeez, that's the, the power of fighting. But now he's got some resistance here, because he's got the Farfetch, but I've got the Magmars in toes. But he might just actually have some other stuff on the bench now. He didn't seem too happy with those draws, though, in his expressive picture, so... It looks like we are probably in... Go <laughs> we're, we're in good shape, sort of. I mean, a, a, that leak slap worked for him, but not for me. But, I got a Magmars, and I know how to use it. See, I wasn't going to be able to do any damage to Farfetch anyway, so I might as well retreat it, so... I have the other Machop in tow anyway. But anyway, smoke screen! And Matt, uh, Farfetch probably will not be able to attack again. Because I'm going to Professor Oak into some fire energies, if need <laughs> uh, For, like, other critters. I mean, I already... I mean, I have the fighting now, but I mean... I'll probably want to get another fighter for the future, you know? You know? But at, although, it's not going to be able to attack for another... Ter uh, for another two turns. So instead of going for the poison, maybe I should do that... And, well, I should, probably should have build first, but... <laughs> Patata, and... Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna just keep smoke screening. And just kinda allow things to stall out. Because I'm in good position right now, so... I can just kinda... <laughs> another Magnemite! I could gust the wind that into play. And use another Machop. Um... I might actually do that, actually. <laughs> I mean, Magmar has only got, only got the one retreat cost. And, and I'm gonna use Professor Oak anyway. So, what do you say? <laughs> oh, jeez, this is probably over a way that I'm playing this. Um, kind of, kind of sad that I'm gonna be dumping Charizard unless I do manage to get another. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this and just kind of like wait to see if I get a Charmander because I'm in good position anyway, so I don't have to play Professor Oak right away, you know? Alright, Charmander. Oh. <laughs> That's okay though. We are good. Ooh, we may not be good. <laughs> Electro, it is probably his most powerful critter at the moment, and I'm probably gonna have to switch back over to uh, other stuff. But yeah, Sonic Boom, don't apply weakness and resistance. And energy spike. It's kind of yeah. It could power up stuff pretty quickly if you let it go because it's extra energy per turn, so it can be pretty handy in that regard. Not as handy as Rain Dance, but still pretty handy. Um, now let's go for the Magmar, and it still can't. Oops, it still can't leak slap. So I guess I could just wait it out. I mean, that's, yeah, it would just kind of at a standstill here. And I'll, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get myself some sort of Charmander eventually. Right? Right? I would think... Uh oh He's going for the Pot Smash! <laughs> uh, that probably means I should switch to Magmar. Probably. And go for the Poison. Now that he's actually going for that. Come on, poison! Oh, I tried. <laughs> he's probably gonna pot smash for 30 now. Or he's gonna try to kinda change his. Oh, wow! No more energy cards! Really? Maybe he should have used Electrode and, like, attached that energy to the Electrode. Brought Electrode out and then started powering up the critters. Hmm. Well, that's his own fault. <laughs> And either one that I use, it doesn't much matter. It's gonna knock out Farfetch. Grab that. Hello! <laughs> Grab that Bryce card. That's the power of a much better deck. She's <laughs> just like, every draw is good now. Sonic Boom! And I'm gonna go for the poison. Because I think that'll help knock out that bad boy of an Electro a little bit faster, providing that I manage to pull it off. But I'm also gonna be powering up Hitmonchan on the back burner. Oh, I didn't get the poison. But yeah, the Hitmonchan is going to be able to knock out pretty much anything at this point. So, <laughs> yeah, you can Sonic Boom all day and all night. I'm not too concerned about that when Hitmonchan is going to be attacking. And I've got a Rattan. 
Uh, so, no Charmander. It's not looking like I'll need it. Maybe I can even do with 10 extra damage with Poison. Still nothing. 12.5% chance to get three tails in a row, and I got it. <laughs> Always gotta take into account the good and the bad of the coin flips when you make your decisions and turns, you know? So, I was already well prepared with Hitmonchan. Anyway, another version of Rattata. Um, actually, I could if I wanted to use the trickery for the fun of it, just to show you how it works. Sure, so I choose a prize card. <laughs> I got one prize card, and then you swap with the top card of your deck. <laughs> anyway... Overkill attack. <laughs> and... Victory! So the top card of my deck was Spiro. Woo! But who knows what that prize card was? Who knows? We'll never know! Isaacs is next. Tread lightly. He's strong. I shall do that, but I've got my fightings, especially Hitmonchan. So I think I'll do okay versus the big boss. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue on my dominance. Well, maybe dominance. Perhaps. We'll see how things go. Oh, the Lightning Club.